The second ranked Buckeyes head to Bloomington to take on the Hoosiers of Indiana. Early in the first, JT drops back, hits Terry McLaurin across the middle for an eight yard gain. Then Mike Weber takes the handoff, finds a hole, and is finally taken down after an 11 yard pickup. A few plays later, Barrett drops back and finds Johnny Dixon streaking down the seam. The junior wideout picks up 40 yards in his first and goal, Buckeyes. Then the touchdown machine, Mike Weber caps off the drive, 7 0 Buckeyes. After a punt, Weber takes the handoff and has space. He is tackled after a 15 yard gain. Then JT scrambles out to his left, feels the pressure, sets his feet, and hits Paris Campbell. He turns it upfield and gains 33 yards. A couple plays later, JT goes play action, finds AJ Alexander wide open, and he walks into the end zone for a 17 yard touchdown. Buckeyes up 14 0. But here come the Hoosiers. The gal hits Westbrook on the slant for a gain of 15 yards. Then Divine Redding takes the handoff, finds a crease, and shows off his strength and gains 15 yards. A few plays later, the guy drops back, tries to hit the corner route, but is picked off by Dante Booker. And ladies and gentlemen, he is gone. He's streaking down the sideline. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, pick six, Buckeyes. Next play for the Hoosiers. Legal drops back. He throws it to the sideline, but is picked off by junior cornerback Denzel Ward. That's number seven on the year. Buckeyes offense returns to the air. Barrett hits Victor for a gain of 17 yards, first and goal, Buckeyes. Then Barrett hits the sophomore again, Victor, in the end zone from nine yards out, 28-0, Buckeyes. But the Hoosiers bounce back. Divine Redding takes the draw, gets a great block from his wideout, and he sprung him for a gain of 27 yards. Then Redding takes the handoff. He bounces it to the outside and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's taken down after a 30-yard gain. That would set up a field goal for the Hoosiers. Buckeyes take over, and JT is picking apart the Hoosier secondary. He hits Dixon across the middle for a gain of 23 yards. Then JT finds Victor again, this time from 13 yards out. The offense is rolling, and congratulations to JT Barrett. He just broke his own school record for touchdowns in a season with 38. But the Hoosiers aren't going down without a fight. Legal hits Cobb on the sideline for a 15-yard gain, but it would lead to a punt. Buckeyes show a new wrinkle in the offense. This time it's the Wildcat. McCall hands off to Eric Glover-Williams, who puts a nice spin move on the defense and gains 16 yards. Then Barrett scrambles out to his right and throws a dime to Benjamin Victor for a gain of 27 yards. JT goes back to the air. He scrambles out to his left, avoids the pressure, and drops a nice touch pass to Terry McLaurin for an 18-yard pickup. And Mike Weber will get into the end zone for the second time today. Buckeyes putting on a show. But here come the Hoosers. Legal drops back. He has all kinds of time, and he finds Cobb. Webb misses the tackle, and Cobb is off to the races. He's finally taken down after a 55-yard gain. Then Divine Redder would cap off the drive by walking into the end zone. Buck still up 42-10. Buckeyes come back out running. Mike Weber goes up the middle for a gain of 12 yards. Then Barrett and Dixon link up again, this time for a gain of 27 yards. It would lead to a Nuremberger field goal. IU comes out throwing. Legal sets up the screen, and Redding follows his block, sheds a tackle, and picks up 19 yards. Then Legal drops back. He finds Westbrook, who beat the Arnett jam, that sets up a field goal for the Hoosiers. Buckeyes going to the half up big, 45-13. Second half, the Hoosiers look to strike quick. Legal finds Cobb on the sideline, and he picks up a huge gain of 41 yards. Then Legal returns to the air. This time, he finds Timion on the out route. He sheds a few tackles and is finally knocked out at the three-yard line. Legal finds Futches in the end zone for five yards out, 45 to 20 Buckeyes. But here comes Scarlet and Gray. JT finds McLaurin on the slant route, and he's finally taken down after a 37-yard pickup. Then Mike Weber is running hard. He takes the handoff, goes up the middle, and picks up 14 yards. First and goal, Scarred and Gray. JT caps it off with the option right, puts a juke move on the corner. Buckeyes up big, 52-20. to 20. Later in the third, McCall back deep for a punt. He starts on the right side of the field, comes all the way across to the left, turns upfield, and is finally pushed out after a 44-yard return. And here's the dagger. JT drops back. Finds Benjamin Victor streaking down the sideline wide open. Number three on the day for the sophomore. The Buckeyes go on the roll big, 66 to 27. JT finished 18 of 25 for 336 yards and four touchdowns through the air and one on the ground. Mike Weber finished with 23 carries for 144 yards and two touchdowns. Ben Victor had a big day, seven catches for 117 yards and three touchdowns. Sam Hubbard on the defensive line had three of the team high, six sacks. Next up for the Buckeyes, a trip to the team up north. Nothing more needs to be said. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check your boy out on that Instagram. And that's Twitter is Big C Got Game. Go hit the follow button right now. Keep up to date what's going on with our Buckeyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Two figures in the air. Peace.